Today, we're going to be talking about the only 5 guns you actually need. This list includes everything from range work to personal protection to hunting. Stay with us till the end as we go through our list of must-have guns for every purpose imaginable. Pump Action Shotgun Unless you compete in certain specific shooting events, all the shotgun you'll ever need is a 12-gauge pump action shotgun. This is perhaps the most useful of all firearms. The Remington 870 is the most popular example, though the Mossberg 500 is right behind it. Plenty of other brands also make respectable examples, too. Despite what some people say, the fact is you don't need a 3.5-inch magnum for waterfowl. Ballistic testing has shown the larger shell doesn't pay enough dividends to make the shoulder dislocating recoil worth it. Good ammunition, a good choke, and good placement with a 3-inch shell are more than adequate to put down geese, ducks, sandhill crane, and so on. You can also get after turkeys, upland birds, and small game while you're at it. Get a model with a swappable rifle barrel, and you can load slug or sabo for big game. Those boys in the Midwest seem to do just fine with them, and they're also great for hogs. Among long guns, the shotgun is the preferred home protection system among long guns. Plenty of people take out the plug and load 5 for guarding the home and replace it when they hit the goose field, turkey woods, or duck blind. Loaded with double aught or triple aught buckshot, it will make mincemeat of the most savage intruder. Sure, you could sub the pump for a decent semi-auto, and everything previously mentioned applies. Unless you shoot skeet or trap competitively and are mandated to have an over-under or side-by-side, -side, a 12-gauge pump is all you need. Full-Size Magnum Revolver If you have to carry a big gun in the woods, one of the best choices is a Ruger GP100 or other service-size Magnum Revolver. A 10mm semi-auto also works very well. For most of the lower 48, the most you'd have to worry about is black bear and maybe a wolf or coyote or a snake. Elk and moose can certainly be a threat, but they are naturally skittish for the most part. Attacks are very rare. If you do a lot of backcountry travel in grizzly country, size up to a 41 Magnum or larger. For most people, a 357 Magnum or 10 mm is all the packing gun you'll need. If you want a full-size gun for home protection, that gives it dual roles. AR-15 Rifle There's been a lot of controversy about the AR-15 lately. What this can't tarnish is the fact that the AR-15 is a fantastic gun. Its 223 Remington ammunition isn't hard to source in a wide range of configurations. Yet, what makes it so popular is its modular design. You can deconstruct and rebuild an AR-15 in a matter of minutes. It can accept a huge range of different parts, too, allowing you to build the AR-15 to your requirements. Like the M1911, it's an American icon, too. The military version has been used in every U.S. conflict since Vietnam and is used by special forces around the world. The patriotic American nature of this gun also means that finding AR-15 parts is far from difficult. Nor is this gun expensive to buy. Countless companies now make their own spin on the AR-15, so there are always plenty of used ones around. If you want a rifle that will serve you well, start with an AR-15. 22 LR Rifle There are two uses for a 22 LR rifle, plinking and small game. You can do a lot of both for not much money. The Ruger 1022 is the most popular model. It's in every gun store. It's been in production since the 1960s, and there are all sorts of accessories for it. However, plenty of other examples exist, such as competing guns by Mossberg, Marlin, Remington, Savage, and plenty others besides. You can choose semi-auto, bolt-action, even lever-action rimfires by Henry, which are a joy to shoot. When it comes to hunting, small game is the most bang for the buck in terms of what you have to spend to get after them. It's also the most neglected category of game. As to recreational shooting, well, what else need to be said? You can do more shooting with a 22 lr than anything else and for dirt cheap. 9mm Concealed Carry Pistol the civilian carrier arguably doesn't need the kind of carrying capacity law enforcement officers and military personnel do, because civilians don't generally get into extended shootouts. 
for concealed carry, a compact or subcompact pistol like the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 9mm is all the handgun you'll need. There are plenty of other great choices. Glock 19 or Glock 26, CZ75 Compact, SIG P365XL, Springfield XDS, or XD Mod 2 Subcompact, a decent commander or officer frame 1911. So, so many great guns to mention. A pistol that can be fired accurately and safely when operated by the user, and also that can be easily packed in a concealed carry holster and carried discreetly, is not hard to find and not expensive to obtain. You can do all the target shooting you want with Hardball, then load it up with JHP for CCW use. Sure, having a bigger handgun for home defense is desirable and are even more fun to shoot, but a decent compact is all the handgun you'll likely ever need. Bonus Gun Surplus Firearms A surplus weapon is a handy weapon to have for a few reasons. For one, the ammo is probably readily available and inexpensive. Two, the weapon itself is probably cheap and in low demand. The surplus weapon can be handy as a backup rifle, should you get low on ammo stores. The weapon can also be used to arm a trusted but ill-equipped neighbor or family member. Surplus weapons are also amazingly durable, as most were built during a time when fighting was in trenches and hand-to-hand -hand combat was commonplace. This applies to both rifles and handguns. I haven't seen any surplus shotguns in my life, but hey, if they show up, go for it. Most of these weapons are out of date when it comes to firepower and feature either a bolt action, a fixed magazine, or low capacity magazines. A surplus weapon may be handy, but it's a maybe in most situations.